Hey guys, welcome back to some more videos. The Explorer of Horror here, Horror Boy 465. Welcome back to some more videos. And um, this video is actually being made. Um, I don't know if it'll be uploaded around uh, 12, uh, maybe 11:30 ish or something like that. But um, I know that we're not that long, we're not that far away from um, New Year's. We're not that far away from 2017. But I figure I'd make a really quick video. Um, I tried to make it earlier, but there was a lot of like noise in the background and stuff, so I was not able to make the video. But I decided to make the video now. Now I'm cutting a little close to New Year's, but um, I want to make a look back on 2016 vlog um, because 2016, um, I noticed was a was a hectic year for a lot of people, and I have to say that it was a very hectic year for me. But it was also a year of endearment. It was also a year of just me being tested to see how far I can go and how and how hard I can work to, you know, get to and get rewards and stuff like that. And um and it was just a year of endearment. Um for me it was it was a year that kind of reminded me of twenty fourteen. Um as far as my real life as far as like Beyond YouTube, but uh, on YouTube, 2016 was actually a pretty good year. Um, 2016 on YouTube was more of a year of, because 2015 was more of the rebuild year. I was re I was coming back to YouTube. I was trying to find a new style, a new. I wanted to do movie reviews, but I was trying to find a new way of doing reviews and stuff like that. And it was more about just planning out reviews and thinking about what franchises want to review. Um, but 2016 was more of a year of just trying to come up with some new ideas, um, a lot of changes, a lot of new stuff was on the channel, I changed my channel name, um, I came up with the Explorer of Horror, um, or at least I hope I did, I did a lot of research and I tried to see if I could, you know, be the, if I could find anything with the Explorer of Horror, um, I couldn't really find anything, but, um, still I just sort of, it was a thought, I just, Sort of came off the top of the head, so I decided to use that as sort of my uh, uh, my subtitle for the channel, the Explorer of Horror. Um, and it was just this year, 2016, from the beginning to the end, was a struggle. There was a lot of times that I went through depression a little bit, a little bit of depression at the whole year. Like it, it wasn't as bad as 2014. 2014, as you guys know, is a year for me that is it was a bad year. Um, a lot of stuff happened. Um, it was one of those years that uh, one bad thing happened, another bad thing after another bad thing. It just, it was a very bad year for me. Um, but 2016 this year, well, you know, for the remainder of when this is uploaded, um, well, at least at this time was when I'm recording this, from 2016, from the beginning to the end, was a year of endearment for me. I think it was a year that, you know... Was seeing how much I could, how much I could do, how much work I can do, and just seeing how far I can go. You know, um, at least for me, a lot of people. I've heard a lot of people's opinions on 2016. It was a very hectic year beyond just you know my life, but even into the media. Um, a lot of people passed away this year. Um, Gene Wilder, China, you know, all, all kinds of celebrities have passed have passed away this year. It was a very sad time for that as well. Like I said, a lot of people have passed away. Um, you know, this year was also the year that we had elected, that we had elected a new president, um, and it was just a year that not only just in my life, but a year and as I noticed, just as a whole for everybody, seemed like it was a very like a lot of stuff happened this year. Um, but like I said, even on the media and stuff like that, a lot of stuff has happened. Um, but for me, though, in my life, beyond YouTube, YouTube, I feel, was a great year. Um, YouTube, 2016, was a great year for YouTube because I covered a lot of franchises. I covered, you know, the Halloween franchise, recently the Prom Night franchise, um, the, I'm trying to think, the Last House on the Left movies. I did the Fog movies. I did, um, I think I did the From Dust Till Dawn franchise, I believe, in 2016. Um, the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. I was glad to have done some franchise reviews. I was really glad to do that. And also, it was very fun to do a bunch of broadcasts this year. Um, they were very fun to do. I want to thank you. I want to say thanks to uh, John Grande, uh, my friend Steve, our, um, uh, Red Band Cash Channel, um, Gideon Morbid, 
um, Andre, Grim Reaper. So a shout out to all those people. They're all my, they're all just really good friends of mine, and um, I was really happy to have them on the broadcast, stuff like that. And uh, the broadcasts were just very fun to do. You know, there was nothing better than just sitting down and discussing uh, horror films with friends you know it was very cool um but as far as you know as the youtube as youtube goes i feel 2016 was a very good year for my for my youtube channel um i was just glad that i was able to do as many videos as i got done i was able to review as many franchises as i reviewed and it was just um just glad to do what i did this year um uploaded some really good reviews and stuff like that like I said, not just in on YouTube, uh, even though in my life this year it was very hectic, went through a lot of stuff, um, kind of reminded me of 2014, but there was also some good stuff that happened this year um, in my life. Um, uh, here's an example. Um, I was in high school, well, at the beginning of the year I was still a sophomore, and um, I had actually wanted to go to a tech school. Um, since eighth grade, I've been wanting to go to a tech school, and um, I worked really hard to get to a tech school from about eighth grade to sophomore year, um, and when it came to my sophomore year, um, it was time for us to fill up the forms to join this tech school, and I turned in my form about a week before it was due, and then I found I found out almost a week later, almost a week later, um, the form had been lost, it had been misplaced, they're not really sure what it was at, so I wasn't really, really upset about it, but I just knew that I had to get a new form signed and turned in the last minute, and that's, that's what I did, I had, um, I turned in the form on the very last day, at the very end of the day, because I was very busy, I had no time to turn in, you know, throughout the day, so I had to wait till the very end of the day, I turned in the form, and it kind of stressed me out because um, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get into the tech school um, because the people who applied, you know, earlier, you're the ones that the first ones that got looked at, you know, their their, uh, their applications were looked at. So I was stressed that I was going to be able to go in there, that it was too late. Um, and I found out about a week later, a week or so later, um, everybody was getting their certificates that they got, you know, accepted into the school. And I didn't get mine yet, and it was at the very end of the day I got my certificate, and it was a huge surprise, and I made it to uh, tech school, and that was one of the things I was wanting to do, and you know I was glad to accomplish that this year. Um, I mean YouTube was just it was 2016 was a good year for YouTube uh, for my YouTube. Um, I did a lot of stuff this year, reviewed a lot of stuff. We did that season two, um, a lot of broadcasts with my friends. Um, a lot of cool franchise reviews and reviews on, you know, films here and there. Um, some vlogs I was able to get into this year. Um, and but as far as my personal life goes, I feel like this is a year where I was just pushed to my limit um, because transitioning from high school to a tech school, it was very difficult because and that's why there's moments where I was not really uploading a lot of videos. It would take me about a week or so to upload a video, and that was because I was very busy. Um, I was not able to upload any videos, um, and it was just because at tech school, it, there's a lot of studying, um, a lot of homework involved, and um, it was very busy. Um, but I tried to upload as much as I could, but I noticed something this year. Um, throughout the year, financially, I was struggling. Um, there was moments where I wasn't buying DVDs and Blu-rays. I mean, like, there was DVD updates this year, but um, there wasn't, you know, a lot of times where I bought movies. It was, you know, a few times I did the DVD updates, but I really um, didn't – for the whole year, I know I did DVD updates, but I still – I did not buy as many movies as I, as I really used to. I used to pick up a little bit more movies this year. I had a couple DVD updates, stuff like that, which I was glad to pick up those DVDs. But if I had no extra money, I was not able to pick up DVDs and Blu-rays. So there was a lot of times where financially uh, I was struggling. Um, you know, as far as video, just like movies and video games and Blu-rays, I was not able to pick those up yet. Um, and just financially struggling. 
Um, and this year was just uh, being pushed, being, um, like I said, just uh, pushed my limb. I have really one of the words to say about it. I mean, just a year that was hectic. A lot of stuff happened once again, like 2014. That's why it kind of gave me deja vu of 2014 because that's what 2014 was. It was like, boom, you know, bad thing, bad thing, bad thing. And in 2014, I just, I went through really bad depression. And um, this year, I went through some depressing times, but I noticed something. In 2014, when I was going through depression, um, I did not feel like doing anything. Um, depression will eat you up. It makes you not want to do anything. Um, and I did not want to be social, did not want to just, I just, in school, I would sit in the back. I didn't say much. And it was because just depression was, you know, eating me whole. I mean, it was just, it was, it was really affecting me. And that's why 2014 deleted my YouTube channel because I didn't want to do reviews anymore. I had no more, I had no motivation. Um, and I noticed this year I went through some really tough times. Um, there was a lot of things that happened this year that really got me depressed. Because um, it was just a year, like I said, that was just really, really hectic. Um, and there were a lot of times this year where I went through depression and stuff. But it wasn't nearly as bad as 2014 when I was just going through the whole year. 2014 was not just a month or two of being depressed 2014 for me was nearly the whole year um, almost the whole year the beginning of the year I would say is when I started getting really depressed and then throughout the year and then towards the end of the year I started thinking positive I started um, wanting to get back on YouTube and um, I just started you know good things started happening and stuff like that um, that's why 2015 was more of an average year for me. It was more of a year of just, okay, I'm coming back to YouTube. Uh, I'm going to rebuild this. I'm going to you know, change my name, um, still review movies, but I want to do it a little bit different. I wanted to come back improved. I wanted to, you know, fix the problems. I wanted to come back and rebuild the channel and give it a little bit of a different vibe. Um, still want to do movie reviews. I love doing movie reviews. Um, but I still I, I want to do movie reviews, but I wanted to do it a little bit differently than I did before. I wanted to come back and you know um, rebuild and just make the channel a little bit different than it was before, um, and uh, you know to sort of change it and you know upgrade it a little bit. Um, 2016 was more of a year, like I said, of just trying to come up with some new ideas, um, new reviews, new franchises I needed to review. Um, trying to figure out, you know, some cool broadcast ideas and stuff like that, and um, did we uh, actually, uh, John Grande created the idea, well, he came up with the idea um, and told me about it, the Horror Roundtable, so um, I want to say thank you to John for, uh, um, you know, having us do the Horror Roundtable, because they're really fun to do, and there's definitely going to be more of them that are going to be done in the future, um, but I was... It was a it was a year as far as YouTube goes, a year that I'm proud of because I met some really cool people in 2016, some really good broadcasts with all my friends, um, some really good reviews, some good franchise reviews. Um, I was glad to cover as many movies as I did this year, um, and it was a year of definitely changing as well. You know, 2016 I had a new channel name. A new channel subtitle. Um, my brother had made my channel art, which I want to say thank you to him, uh, Jacob Productions. Um, and I'm gonna leave links to all these people's channels in the in the uh, in the description below if you guys want to check out the channels. Um, they're really cool people. Um, and my friend M W Hill, who made me my channel icon, um, really cool. And um, I leave a link to his channel in the description as well. Um, so thank you to Jacob Productions and N.W. Hill for making me my channel art and my icon and stuff like that. Um, thank you guys so much for that. Um, and it was a year that was trying to – 2015 was also a year where I tried to experiment with editing, made my first couple of intros. Um, and then this year, M.W. Hill had made me uh, intros as well. He had made me some intros 
which are really cool. And I want to say thank you to him for that as well. Um, and I just, you know, tried to, as I also had, um, windows movie maker, um, and I was trying to use that to edit my videos and stuff like that. And, you know, and I, and edit a couple of reviews and stuff like that. And, um, it was just a year though on YouTube that I, I felt was a good year as far as my YouTube goes. But as far as, you know, beyond YouTube, as far as, you know, my life, it was a very hectic year. Um, it was a year, like I said, of endurement. It was a year of just testing myself, of seeing how much work I can do and seeing how far I can go. And I sort of live off of just doing my best. That's just sort of what I live off of, doing my best on YouTube, doing my best, whether it's in school, YouTube, uh, work, when I'm working. Um, I just try to do the best I can do. And um, it was just a year of a uh, lot of stuff happening. But I did notice something. In 2014, when I went to that depression, I deleted my YouTube channel because it swallowed me whole. And I had no motivation to do anything anymore. 2016, I went through some really depressing stuff as well. But I, I was able to still do YouTube videos. Because YouTube makes me happy. It, it, it makes me happy to share my opinions with you guys and then hearing your guys opinions and having some really cool comments and that's why i love you know doing what i do movie reviews is because it's very interactive um some really good conversations can happen um I get some really cool comments hearing different opinions on the film and um i know it's like well why don't you become a let's player i be it was when i first joined everybody was doing let's plays it was the hottest thing on YouTube was Let's Plays, and I really do enjoy watching them. Um, I enjoy a lot of YouTubers. I'm subscribed to a lot of Let's Players, but as far as me being a Let's Player, um, it was just not something that I wanted to do. I enjoyed watching it, but it was something that I just, you know, I do it here and there on the channel, but to make just the whole channel doing Let's Plays, I, I don't think I could do that, but um, I did want to do movie reviews, but I still love watching Let's Plays. Um, and I'm subscribed to some, I'm subscribed to Let's Players and stuff like that. Um, and I do some here and there, but I don't think I could do the whole channel Let's Plays. Um, I more was interested in movie reviews, sharing my opinions, you know, hearing people's opinions, um, and just talking about horror films because I loved horror films as well. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but you guys might be hearing some fireworks going off because it's almost, well, it's, it's 11, 12, so, you know, midnight is clo is uh, approaching, but, um, yeah, I just figured I'd make this video. Um, just 2016 had its good and bad moments, but overall, enduring year, it was a year that I was very proud to have gotten where I've gotten how far I was pushed, how much I could take, how, you know, how I can go to depression. And then now that I've, I've gone to depression this year, I've noticed that I've had some really good friends that helped me out with it, you know, and helped me and talked to me and, and, you know, and so that it wasn't so depressing, you know, and hanging out with friends and, and, um, and doing broadcasts like that was just very cool. And, um, and YouTube also really, really helped me because, I still love to do movie reviews, and I'm glad that this year I still did movie reviews, even when I was depressed, because it made me happy to do movie reviews, because I love sharing my opinion with other people, and um, yeah, so 2016, this is a little vlog, um, just a look back at 2016, um, I wish I would have done this video last year, but um, Unfortunately, I didn't do it last year, but uh, I think from here on, I'll be doing vlogs at the end of every year and just to sort of do a look back, you know, look back on 2017, look back in 2018, you know, interesting stuff. I mean, I was just want to do this really quick video and um, share with you guys what I think of 2016. It was a year that a lot of stuff, both in my life, but also in the media, but and also in the world has happened. Um you know, bad and good, um, and as far as my life, in my life, it was a hectic year, it was a year of pushing myself to do the best I can do, and it had its good and bad moments, um, it had its depressing times, it had its happy times, but overall, 
it was a year that I was really able to see how far I could go, uh, how much work I can do, and how I, how much I can do the best I can do. Um, and um, I would say overall, 2016 was a year, like I said, that had its bad moments, but it also had its really good moments. Um, so moments where I really achieved things and I was really proud of what I did this year. Um, but anyways, guys, thanks for watching my quick little vlog, look back on 2016 video, and I'll see you guys on the next review. Bye, guys.